Hello, hello everyone. I don't have the game audio on. I knew this to be a problem. So it doesn't count. Um, hello, how... I'm stuck here. Sin is right here. Uh, I will pet Sin. Hello, Sin. I, uh, are you, are you, um, are you impressed that I saw you, uh, among all these names? I could still read your name. It's magic. <laughs> but hello, Sin. Hello, Cerulean. Uh, hello, uh, Jaken. Hello, everybody. Step two. I'm stuck. What? Cerulean. Cerulean. Bonk. Uh, oh, wait, I bonked myself. Whoops. Whoops. I'm a fool. Um, anyways. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome in to some more Final Fantasy fourteen. Uh, Thank you, Sinat Shaiish, for the 26 month resub. Did you know that the critically acclaimed more Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial and includes the entirety of the Realm Reborn and the award winning Heaven Sword expansion up to level 60 with no restrictions on playtime? Sign up and enjoy your year today. I did not. Thank you for letting me know. Also. Hold on. Come on, come on, TTS. What are you saying? Uh, hold on. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Ilya. What? The what? Ilya. Um. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Welcome to Asia. <sighs> Thank you, Sin, for the resub. Uh, let's throw out a uh, shout out here for Sin, first of all, uh, since we're playing some games, and uh, and and also for uh, Severulian, who was just playing some some. Um, Why do I keep keep thinking to say like stray or strafe, but it's it's strider. <laughs> it well, you know, S starts with an S. Same thing. Same thing. Uh oh no, that's not that's not that game. That's uh that's that's that's, that's, that's the other game. Strafer. <laughs> yes. Um but yeah, we're gonna be playing some uh questing today? Probably. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm wearing my questionable summoner gear here. Um, I leveled up a little bit of summoner. Uh, I didn't get a shirt yet, obviously. As I'm level 45, so um, instead I have just this weird bikini I got from one of the dungeons. Uh, so yeah, I'm white mage. Um, First of all, let's 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 get out of here. Let's let's get out of this place, this uh this <laughs> this slims the square here. Uh 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 let's go to the to the uh to the aft castle real quick. Uh check up on the on the team there. Um You know, over here to the better uh, frame rates. <laughs> there we go. Um, so what I've been doing since last time is I... What is this music? Where is this music coming from? It's, uh... 
Oh, rising attendant. It started. Ah, uh, it's uh, it's answers the 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 the, the vocal theme, but as like a uh, weird space version. It actually like sounds a bit like uh, you know how you if you have. If you have, uh, like, surround sound on, on, like, a non-surround system, so it's, like, playing in, in, in a weird way. Anyways, before we, uh, before we look at that, uh, le let me tell you what I've d done. So, uh, oh yes, the thing I mentioned a minute ago. You mentioned it a minute ago? What did you mention a minute ago? What? You didn't mention anything a minute ago. A new seasonal event started today. <laughs> ah, that thing. Um, yes, <clears throat> indeed. Um, okay, so what I have done since last time. <laughs> last time we finished uh, the Final Fantasy XIV ARR uh, 2.0 original content story. Um, and we started off like a little bit on the on the uh on the quest we're gonna go to costa del sol and talk to giga ruju um and get some cooking sherry for some reason um but since then i have cleaned up all of those dungeon quests that we got uh, because we unlocked a bunch of the dungeons, so all the hard modes uh, for all of these. Um, I've done them all. Um, I went through them all, uh, did them, quested through them. Um, there's some pretty, pretty funny, uh, funny ones here. I, I quite enjoyed saving the Tanbos in Wanderer's Palace hard. Um, but yeah, then I bought myself the full set of the good stuff, um, item level 130 uh, gear here. But you may also notice, and uh, I think Sin understands what I have gotten myself into. Um, I have the Thyrus Atma, so this is the relic weapon for White Mage. <clears throat> I also started, I, I like got the basic basic version of the of the ninja uh, weapon Yoshimitsu. I uh, like I, I did this one actually first, I got this one, but then I got the one for white mage and then I started upgrading it and and uh, I regret my life choices. Um, I'm now working through <coughs> A book of Sky Earth. So, in order to get plus two spell speed, <laughs> I have to kill all of these enemies all around the world. Then I gotta go through all these dungeons, kill these bosses. Then I gotta go and find these fates and do all of these. Then I gotta go and find these leaves and do all of these. And that's step one out of nine. And that is step, uh, what is it? Step three out of seven? I don't know. So, <laughs> um, I regret, I regret my life choices. Especially because I, I have the uh, superior <laughs> weapon here, right here. Uh, to be fair, I did. I, I looked it up on the on, on the wiki, and uh, like the ultimate form of the relic weapon, the the zodiac weapon, uh, fully upgraded, is actually item level one thirty five. So technically, it's a slight upgrade on the augmented ironworks magic cane, but very slight. 
Um, so, so yeah, 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 so yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But you know, I've, 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 you know, been just, just you know, watching Daredevil on on Disney Plus and grinding out the relic weapon. So you know, why not? <laughs> why not? Anywho, I guess we call uh, we we talk to the rising attendant to find out what to do. In looking to the past, we take solace in the present and think of what the future may hold. That is the very essence of the rising. This year, we have prepared a spectacular firework celebration. It is sure to enthrall everyone in attendance. What is the rising? The rising is a period of a remembrance that commem commemorates those lives that were lost during the great tragedy that was the calamity. We also pay tribute to the unsung heroes who risked life and limb that others might know a brighter future. And so the streets are decorated with somber trappings and the night skies filled with vibrant fireworks. The solemn atmosphere and bright lights above may spur others to reflect on the doom portended by Dalamud. By doing so, they might give thanks for the present and muster hope for a brighter tomorrow. Lest you wonder, the observances are being held in Ulda. Oh. If you wish to participate, we invite you to pay a visit to the Sultanate. Is that where the music's coming from? <laughs> All the way from Ulda? Um, yeah, okay, I guess there's nothing over here then. Cool. Whoa, wait! <laughs> This game sucks. One out of five game. Absolute trash. Anyways, let's go check out uh, how the how the team over here is doing, and then also um, the the uh, retainers, and then I guess we'll go head head on to Ulda. Sudden, sudden change in music. Uh, regiment board. They did some training. Get some level ups. Is that all the training for today? Yep, that's all the training for today. I have no idea when the day changes for the training stuff, but uh, and that is done in uh three hours, two hours and twenty three mi minutes. I didn't notice it said that. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> oh, so the rising event, so it's the anniversary event of Final Fantasy XIV. But, and like in lore, in, in lore terms, I understand why it is how it is. I understand why it is, um, today is the ninth anniversary, because, like, it's the ninth anniversary of Realm Reborn and the Calamity. Like, that's what the Rising is about, it is the Calamity, which is a Realm Reborn. Um, or the, <laughs> the Realm Reborn is not the Calamity. The Calamity is what made Realm Reborn. But Anyways, um, I, I do find it weird that, um, like, outside of the lore of things, they still celebrate this as, like, the ninth anniversary of Final Fantasy XIV. I think they, they, they do, like, because of things they, they do specify, like, Final, Realm Reborn, but it, it, it is just a weird thing where, where sort of they've kind of, like, uh, rewritten history about, you know, don't, 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 don't think too hard about, you know, the, the, the years before, <laughs> before that. Surely there was nothing then, surely. Uh, you go give me some more crystals. What do I need? What do I need? 
Uh, let's go earth crystals. I'm not at all sure if I need shards or crystals more. I think shard, uh, crystals. I mean, I could check, but that would be cheating. Venture report. Ooh. Augmented Ironworks Bracelet of Casting. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I don't have that. Uh, resign. <clears throat> I also found out that I could, I could technically cheat my way into, um, into the Heaven's Wood, uh, crafting, crafting, uh, materials by sending my over level 50 retainer to get some stuff for me. Like, they can actually do a hunt hunt uh, venture that would get them stuff from Heavenswood. Though, <clears throat> obviously I could also buy them from the marketplace, which would be easier, but, <laughs> you know. Ninth anniversary of the Calamity. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's I've I've noticed this before. That's uh that's a strange thing when you've got this uh 2D very uh 2D. I mean it's 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 less 2D than it could be. Uh banner right here. But when you when you run straight out it's like, "Well, what's this line here?" Okay, let's go Ulda. This is not what I was planning to do. We were going to do a quest, we were going to quest, but suddenly we have to celebrate a birthday. Oh yeah, wait a minute. If the... Oh, we got the night jams here in Ulda. Um, I like them. If uh, the... If the uh, thing has started properly t today now, have they, <laughs> have they uh, slashed prices? No, no. Why would you celebrate your game by celebrating with a discount for, for in-game items on your in-game item shop? But not the game itself. Give me cheap... Cheap expansions. Whoa. Why is there a bunch of people here? What, what is here? Uh... They are all in... <coughs> they are all in a... Cutscene? I don't see an NPC here. looking at this like like uh, I told you so in terms of <laughs> all these names <laughs> yet okay so that's like where you go talk to somebody uh, hello I'm I've come to kill chaos any any why are these like what come on please Please, game, please. Why can't I just run through that? Oh. Wait. I have this. There it is. Uh, you should do that quest from the cat girl on the beach. B bench emote dance oh yeah yeah i haven't done, the, done the, those that is true um there's a bunch of random little quests that give you cool stuff when the mulmin approaches beware for thy impetuous mikote always leads a merry dance ball dance Balls? Psst, you there. Yes, darling, you. They say you're the last with the brass. Well, they call me that too, but for a different reason. Name's Pumulmin. 
and I earn my keep as a dancing girl in these markets. Aye, it's a living, and a good one. But it's not exactly what I set out to be when I bid farewell to the mudflats. I know, I know, isn't that the way the tale curls? Still, I should like to be one of those dancer de dancers Dexter. The what now? You know, the sort they engage for the grand balls. Mm, to be a dancer of craft, not mere was, and keep company in high society. Cause I'd have to learn a proper sort of dancing. Let's shimmy more stately, and that's where you come in, darling, because I've got a quarry for you to track down. They say a dancing master named Gulanu is in time is in town. All the high-born ladies and a flut are a flutter wanting to take lessons with him. He's the best. That's the word. This is my chance to be something finer than Minnie the Minx. Go to the steps of Thal and ask around, around about him, won't you? Okay. Uh. Hello? Hello? Also, the... This? Oh, here, here we go. The Wandering Minstrel. Um... I've noticed that the, the the dancer doesn't seem to be a very popular... It might just be like my, my perception, but... It doesn't seem to be too popular of a class because... Doing all the dungeons so far, I remember like... Seeing maybe like two dancers all together. Um, which is interesting. But it looks like an interesting class. I... I I don't really know how it works, but just looking at observing how others have played it, it looks like it's it's like a stance-based fighter, like similar to Monk. Basically, it looks to me like it's a it's a ranged Monk uh, in terms of gameplay from just seeing others play it <laughs> in in dungeons. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems interesting, but I can't get it. I cannot play it because I lack the expansions to play. Who is what? Dancer uh, seems to be um, less used. Haven't seen as many players play Dancer. Newfound Journey. Final Fantasy XIV Online? What's that? The Wandering Minstrel has a request for an experienced adventurer. This quest is available for a limited time only. Clockwork Solus. Who? <laughs> Greetings, friend. By your dauntless bearing, I assume you are an adventurer. As for myself, I am a humble wandering minstrel, one who draws inspiration from the daring deeds of those in your calling. Aren't you the same person who's in, uh, who's in, in, in Mordona? Isn't this the same, same wandering minstrel as there? Because I talked to you. If you have a moment, there is a favor I would ask of you. Will you not hear me out? In part due to promotional efforts during the recent Moonfair, Moonfire Fair, more people are seeking to take up adventuring. Not all are yet wise in the ways of the world, however, and I fear they might fall prey to less principled types in Ulda. If one such as you were to help them out on their way, I would feel more at ease. What say you? Will you not take a fledgling adventurer under your wing? No. I'm truly grateful. Now, I believe a carriage is due to arrive shortly. If you go and wait at the gate of Nald, chances are a soul will wander in who has just embarked upon the path of adventure. Pray greet them and offer your help. Worry not, you'll have no trouble identifying them. <coughs> you need... <coughs> excuse me. You need but look for someone absorbed in their surroundings. Hey, <laughs> I dare say it will feel like glimpsing into the past. Right to the part where you are greeted by a helpful stranger. <laughs> I feel like I really need to um, start the game. 
at some point. Like, create a fresh character and see, like, see one of the intros. Because I feel like they are referencing the intro for the Ulda experience here. You arrive by carriage and there's some stranger who greets you. I have no idea. I arrived in this world just standing in Gridania, just being like, okay, well, here I am. <laughs> Waiting. Waiting. Didn't ride a carriage, but you still entered the city. No, I, I never entered the city. I just began existing within the city. <laughs> what will you say? Oi, adventurer, over here. Is this your first trip to Ulda? Welcome to Ulda. Uh, give me more op options, please. Oi, adventurer. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Who, who are you? Yappers? An experienced adventurer, you say? And you want to help me on my way? Well, I could certainly use some guidance. I've never been anywhere near as big as busy and busy as Ulda. My name is Nagia Yakya, but just Nagi will do. And as you rightly guessed, I'm an ad aspiring adventurer. That's why I left my village and came here. So, I understand that you're, you first need to register at the Adventurer's Guild. Do you know where it is? Uh... Oh, it's in. Yeah, sure. Right there. Wait, why are you telling me what you need to do? I need to tell you what you need to do. Just through that door, is it? Thank you. I'll head there at once. Bye. Nagi rushes off before you can offer further explanation. Perhaps you should follow him to the quicksand. Eh, they'll be fine. I've seen the legacy character intro scene, so you must have already entered the city before you started playing again. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so, <clears throat> so no, so, uh, obviously I've, I've seen, like, the, on, on this character, on Suze, I've seen the original Gridania intro, though I could not tell you at all what happened, because it was like, you know, 84 years ago. So, I have no idea what happens in that. <clears throat> and then I also have at least seen the Lim Salominsa um, intro scene on um, the other character I played uh, for, for Realm Reborn. But I also don't remember that at all. So, <laughs> so in effect, I have not seen any intros. Um, when I logged into this character after... Um, now, now, uh, like, restarting the game, uh, I was just in Gridania. And, um, basically it had, uh, like, reset me to the point after the intro of the game. So I had to go to the very, very, very first tutorial, uh, steps in the game, uh, again even though I have done them as, as his character before. Uh, but obviously before um, the Calamity. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a un incomplete uh, experience in that sense. <laughs> Clearly Nagi has got plenty of people here to help. In and out, in and out. Come on, Nagi, you can do it. What? Oh, it's you again. 
To be honest, I'm quite nervous. It's heartening to have you here too. Why hello there. What can I do for you today? The lad's here to register, is he? Yes, madam. I wish to join the Adventurers Guild. My name is Nagia Jakia and I'm 16 years old. Practically a man grown. Eh? Aren't we a lovely one? Momod is the name, and if you want to be an adventurer, then you come to the right woman. There's nothing to it, really. You just need to write your name in the register. Come, come. With that, you're officially a member of the Adventurer's Guild. If you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, alright? Cause I do enjoy hearing tell of a gentleman's woe, woes with the woman folk from time to time. Yappers? Did I just tell a funny joke? Now then, normally I'd offer you the grand tour. But in light of present company, I reckon you ought to have it from her. She's a renowned adventurer, after all. The bleeding champion of Eosia. And you could do far worse than to get her advice. Do I have to? To begin with, mayhap you could recommend a guild here in Ulda for Naga to join. If it's too noisy in here, uh, there are benches just outside where you can have a nice little chat. Miners Guild. You will become a miner. I must confess, choosing a guild is quite daunting. I'd appreciate any advice you can offer. The following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registration. Whoa! <laughs> Never seen that before. <laughs> Alright, let's talk guilds. <laughs> also, why is it unskippable all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm only ears to say. <laughs> uh, what was the adventure? Can be dangerous. What attracted you to it? Why did you want to become an adventurer? Uh, same question. Illusion of choice. A merchant who was in the carriage with me, a bre uh, something, asked me much the same thing. At the time, I couldn't give a proper answer. I had a reason for leaving home, of course, but I couldn't express it in words. But having now set foot in Ulda, it's become clear in my mind. I wanted to know what lay beyond the horizon, I wanted to see it with my own eyes and be amidst it. You've been to many places, right? You like it then? Traveling, that is. I love traveling. There's nothing like the thrill of seeing new sights. Traveling is nice, but I prefer to put my roots down somewhere. I love traveling. So you do, so you do. I have an older sister. During the calamity, we fled Gridania and took refuge in a village in the mountains. I ended up staying in the secluded place. And it's been a long... It's been a dream of mine to travel the world. But, inexperienced as I am, I don't know if I could live a life on the road. Is there a guild that could equip me with the skills I need? One representing students of the fighting arts? One representing crafters and gatherers? Crafting. I see. A place where I can learn a trade. Indeed, we can't always rely on fighting to make a living, and having the ability to gather or craft would be invaluable. If I recall correctly, Ulda is home to the Alchemist Guild. I happen to have some familiarity with medicinal herbs, and I dare say I can put the knowledge to use. Yes, I believe this is the guild for me. I'll go and join at once. No, 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 no. You pick the worst one. Will you be alright by yourself? I can show you to the guild if you like. Um, <clears throat> I'll, um, <clears throat> I'll try to uh, <clears throat> avoid this. Will you be alright by yourself? <laughs> Not as. 
Thanks for your concern, but I should be fine. If you still have time, though, could we meet again afterwards? There are a few more things I'd like to ask you about. Nodders? Great. I'll look for you here when I'm done. It's also, I think, the first time there's been a first-person cutscene. <laughs> Apart from, from like, <clears throat> a short effect, I guess. You wait a good while while Nagi is nowhere to be seen. Perhaps you should look in on him at the Alchemist Guild. <laughs> but yeah, I would, I would, I would say that, um, like, if I was, if I was advising someone on on starting a new character here in Ulda, and they they wanted to be a crafter or gatherer, I would definitely not recommend Alchemist Guild for them first. <laughs> it's got the most like. Like, the, the, the problem is just, because alchemy and, alchemy and, like, food are both things where you don't really use the same ingredients a lot, so it's, it's, a lot of it is just, like, oh, uh, the, this is for the, for the dancing thing, but yeah, it's got, like, complex recipes. Idiot, and had my mental faculties been diminished as a result, what then? The world would have be forever been deprived of my genius, that's what. Ah, my loyal assistant, you are come at a good time. This fool of a trainee switched my drinking water with some unknown fluid, which I unwittingly imbibe, imbibe it. I I'm sorry, Master Severian. But it was just an uh, herbal tea. You looked wary, and I thought that it might help. Why in the seven hells didn't you say so first? That way I might have recorded my vital signs and ascertained the tea's effects. Such negligence ill befits an alchemist, and I ought to kick you out of my laboratory right now. Still, you completed the assigned tasks perfectly. In light of this, you have earned another chance. Very well. You may serve as my assistant on a prob probationary basis. Uh, I'm sorry you had to see that, Suze, I, but it seems all is well, at least for now. Master Severian truly lives and, bri and breathes alchemy. Though the tea is quite bitter, uh, he thought only of its effects and made no comment on its taste. I believe I stand to learn much under him, and I'll do my best not to incur his ire. I must also apologize for, to you for keeping you waiting. So engrossed was I in the potion making, I lost track of time. Yappers? Oh, and one other thing. As I was at my work, a peculiar minstrel approached me. He said that if I'm resolved to walk an adventurous path, I should seek him out for a task. Moreover, he asked that you accompany me, if you're willing. He's apparently waiting at the Ruby Road Exchange. Not us? Why? Oh yeah, good point. For an adventurer, Nagi, you talk too much. You need to learn to just nod and 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 uh, nod and smile. If you chose Combat Guild, he joins the Pugilist Guild, where he's somewhat of a prodigy, apparently. Oh, wait, that would have been so much easier because that's like right next to <laughs> next to where I was, instead of you know <clears throat> as far away from there as possible. But yeah, I would have sent. I would have gone for the Miners Guild, you know. Hello, Lucius Lady. Are you another one of Master Gillino's camp followers? So cute. You know he's from Curthus, don't you? 
Travels the world teaching the art <clears throat> art of the dance. I don't know what's what's with my voice today. They say he was the youngest dancing master ever to leave the lands. The what? Do what now? That he had a large estate, a fine stable, and a coat of, of crown sable. Why anyone would leave all that is beyond me. When I think about that, it gives me shivers, you know? Why, if he weren't leaving Ulda today, I'd consider permitting him the pleasure of my person. Oh, don't look so shocked. Mayhap when he returns. Mayhap? Mayhaps? Oh! Hmm. I so rarely, like, walk the steps that it hadn't... It hadn't really dawned on me that these are indeed just like the same area, it's just... Steps. That there is no zone change between them. Huh. Ah. Interesting. Oh, of course I know where Master Gillenoy is. Uh, don't you see these roses on my cheeks? And the ever so slight droop in my supple carriage? I've just come from practice. You can stop wondering who the bell of the ball is to be next moon. With what Master Gillenoy taught me, I've no doubt that I'll dazzle the masses. Where can you find him? Well, I oughtn't say, but... Oh, why not? You should find him on the Hustings trip. He said he was headed for the, to the airship landing. Okay, I guess I don't need to talk to the to the last person. Um, so yeah, yeah. Sprint. Willowy woman. Master Gulena. Oh, it's lovely what he teaches, but straight is the gate, my good lady. He is very choosy about whom he teaches. You must dance for him and show some innate quality. Why, he wouldn't even accept Master Gegaruju's diamond-crusted trumpet, and she was quite the dance souls already. Okay, I guess I needed to know that I need to dance in order to do or something. Is it now this one? Hello? 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 No. Still no. Catching bunny. Okay. My friend, you have done a splendid job as a guide. I was right to entrust the task to you. What? Do you mean to say... Oh, what? what? <laughs> it's not... <laughs> what do you mean to say it's they approached me at your behest? She did, I must confess. You see, for my next composition, I seek to capture the essence of the times. While any number of subjects would be worthwhile, of greatest interest to me is the recent rise in the ranks of adventurers. In thus bringing different generations of adventurers together, I had hoped for inspiration to strike, and I'm pleased to say that it has. Drawing upon your experience walking your path, you've helped Nagi to begin walking his. A uh, reminder that the present owes its existence to the past. That is to say, the present and the past are deeply entwined. If we would capture the former, we cannot well disregard the latter. And this brings me to my next request. I ask that you each find an ob object with a connection to the Calamity, the event which gave rise to Realm's rebirth, and present it to me with its tale. Well now, that sounds not unlike a treasure hunt. And it'll be my whoops pff, something. How about doing it? Excellent! <laughs> when you have your items, pray seek me out at the Ruby Road Exchange. I can look forward to seeing what you bring. Oh yeah, I can just click as we are not in a cut cut cutscene cutscene. 
Um, and like, uh, it'll be v my very first task of adventure. What do you say to say, shall we do it? Yeah. There are many vendors at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, right? Chances are they'll have something. So let's begin our search there. Okay. I don't want this to move. Please. There's no way to lock the chat UI, is there? Is there? Our details... Notification sounds... No, no, no... UI settings... Uh, no, HUD. Uh, uh, no, no, hmm, <clears throat> that's unfortunate. Because it's always when you, when you like, click on this part where the tabs are, uh, that, like, moves. Moves the chat. I don't like it. I don't like it. Free company invites. Uh, hold on. Where am I going? What's going on? Uh, game. Give me, uh, give me, give me... Tell me where to go. I'm an adventurer of, of, of... I'm a new adventurer. I don't know how to do quests without map markers. Well, don't click on that tab. Good point. Good point. Oh yeah, there was a UI change that I needed to make, or hotkey change, uh, rather. Um, let me do it right now, because it's something that I want to not get used to. So, um, so for hotbar 3 over here, I want to change control and shift, basically. So this is going to become shift Q, shift E, shift R, and shift F, and then control Q, control... E, control R, and control F. <clears throat> like so. Um, because then this, like, these three are going to now, um, it'll be like the top, top, uh, row is without a modifier. Then the second row is with shift. And the third row is with Q with control, because control is below shift, so that makes it a little bit more. Works better. Uh, on these hot bars is the opposite way around, that it starts with node modifier, then becomes shift, then becomes control over here. I've never seen this one before. That's a lot of... Uh, Lot of lalas. Those are the thermoturge people, maybe? Are they? Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, they got different different face markings. And there's the Sultana. And these people I have no idea who these are. They are some Lalafell. Has it always been there? Oh! Why is OBS red? Is it actually red? Hold on. Is it... Is OBS just like being super weird? It showed like red zero, everything super bad. Uh, I gotta open up my own channel here again. Uh, 
How do I? There we go. Because when I look at Twitch's bitrate um, thing, it says everything's fine. And the stream seems fine, so I don't know. OBS seems to have some problems. I was dropping frames? Oh. Oh. Then Twitch doesn't know what's up. Anyways. Um, I am... I am... Uh, Excited for the next OBS update. I'm hoping it'll drop soon. Come on, let's begin looking around. Nagiyakiya is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with the quest objectives. You can leave Nagiyakiya behind by entering a different area, or by speaking with him and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have Nagia Jakia accompany you again, return and speak with him at, your, at the original location. While you are accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way, which offer additional topics of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companions to initiate these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your surroundings together. Why is it dropping frames? Why? I mean, one thing, uh, one change I did, uh, let me actually... Because it's something you, you, you don't see on your side anyways. Um, one thing I did do was limit the frame rate. Oh, it is... <laughs> Apparently it's... Wait, I thought I... It must have, like, changed it back, but uh, I, I unlocked the frame rate and then limited it with... What, what is it? System conf config. Uh, unlocked the frame rate here and limited it with um, NVIDIA so that it could go at 144. 144 FPS instead of 60, but uh, you don't see that anyway, so 60 it is. Uh, what's the next obvious update? Uh, I don't remember what else there was. There was something else that was really uh, great as well, but uh, one one big thing I'm excited for is HDR support. Um, so you can finally actually, actually have HDR on um, with OBS. Hello? Discuss local cuisine. Okay. Oh, is this local cuisine? Goodness, but everything looks amazing. In the course of your journeys, you must have sampled all kinds of food, from simple fare to exotic feasts. I look forward to sampling everything too. I mean, honestly, I just create a stack of like, like a, a stack of a stack of like snacks and just eat them every every sixty minutes. You know? Welcome, welcome. What is it that you're after? Also, I didn't... I didn't really... Like... React to it, but that was 2B right there. <laughs> Suddenly. Yappers? Objects with a connection to Calamity, you say? Why, I have just the thing. An amethyst ring from Ishgard, steeped in sentimental value. Five years ago, on the eve of the Battle of Cartano, a young temple knight set out from his homeland, wishing to do his part for Elzia when his nation would not. Alas, the man never arrived in the flats. En route, he, became, he came up upon a merchant being attacked by a dragon, and lost his life going to the stranger's aid. This was his ring, an heirloom passed down through his line. What a tragic tale. But I wonder, how did the ring find its way back? 
If the knight fell, it seems the merchant couldn't have survived unscathed. Um, uh, uh, I remember now. Th though the knight was mortally wounded, he succeeded in striking down the dragon. And with his last breath, he entrusted the ring to the merchant. Yes, that's how it happened. So what do you say? If you're interested, I would be willing to part with the relic for a special prize. But for today only. Hmm, this feels a bit dubious. Shall we look around some more? There's bound to be other things out there. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely not a ring from that time. I'm running the wrong way. I don't usually hang out here. I'm usually in a limsa. Hello. Talk to me. About scripts? House of Splendors? What kind of place is this, I wonder? I see you're not familiar with the house. We offer wares in exchange for scripts, but our services are available only to those whom we know and trust. So if I want to be a customer, I need to make my name for myself. One day, Nagi, one day. Even I can't talk to these people. Greetings from daily necessities to unusual curios, I deal in all manner of wares. I, if, if there is something in particular you seek, you need but ask. Yappers? Hmm, object to do with the calamity. The two of you are adventurers, are you not? In which case I have something that may be of interest. It's a journal I acquired from an adventurer who retired injured. The man recorded his experiences during the calamity in detail, and I dare say it has value for students of history. Oh, an adventurer's first-hand account. I'd love to pour over it. Do you keep a journal of your adventurers as well today? If so, I'd love to read it one too one day. With your permission, of course. Nope. Oh, for another historical piece, I also have a scrapbook of articles from The Raven, Gridania's leading tabloid. These mainly cover events outside the Calamity, however. Articles from The Raven, you say? Hmm. So far, so good. Let's look around just a little more. Okay. Uh, hello? This way? Greetings and welcome to my exhibit. Please feel free to browse at your leisure. And don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions. We're looking for objects that bear a connection to calamity. Do you have anything that fits that description? As a matter of fact, I do. Yonder pain, entitled the Sultana 7, depicts an inspiring event from the Calamity. Oh, hello. The thing I was just looking at? It was the final days before the fall of Dalamud. Its inexorable approach foretelling our impending doom. Panic spread like wildfire, while many in their desperation turned on, to, on the Sultanate. A looting and rioting broke out across Uldar. To quell the masses, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Namo took to the streets with a guard consisting of only seven subjects, for they alone had the courage to stand with their sultana. There she addressed the rabble. Heed be, beloved citizens, the realm lies upon the brink of the seventh umbral era. Yet so long as we live, we must not forget our compassion. Now is not the time to take it from your neighbor, but to proffer him the hand of succor. Brought to the, their senses by her words, the people laid down their arms and set about healing the wounds they themselves had inflicted on Ulda. And those who returned from the battlefield found their home, much as they had left it, a gleaming jewel in the desert. Her Majesty sounds like a great ruler. Ulda is fortunate to have her watching over it. Thanks for sharing the tale. It's indeed inspiring, and you've done an incredible job capturing it in glass. I dare say we've seen enough. Let's find a quiet spot to discuss what to bring back. You've seen enough objects and learned in the stories behind them. Make your way to the end of the Sapphire Avenue Exchange with Nagia and speak with him. Okay. We run. 
No, Moogle. Stop talking to me. Right, this looks like as good spot as uh, good as spot as any. I don't know about you, but that was all very new and exciting for me. Talking to myriad people, learning the tale behind each object. It's been a great experience, and I won't soon forget it. Now then, we need to decide what we want to take to the minstrel. Have you made up your mind? The Ishgardian Knight's Ring, the Sultan's Seven Pain, the Retired Adventurer's Journal. I mean... Only one of these seems reasonable. I'm gonna go for the scam ring. Yappers? I see, I see. I did consider that too, but in the end settled on something else. What is it? <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd like to keep it a surprise. Come, let's purchase our respective items and meet back where the minstrel waits. Wait. Hold on. No, I don't want to pay for the scam ring. I was going to make you pay for the scam ring. I got scammed. You obtained the Guardian nice ring. Oh no. <laughs> I scammed myself. Mistakes were made. Uh, why am I here and... I... hold on. Hold on. Alright, suddenly we do the dancing quest. Suddenly a completely different quest. Master Glenno, I am he. That you are an adventurer is apparent, but what business brings an adventurer to a dancing master, I wonder? A tut, you will not answer where, where no question has been asked. It is the feet that must persuade, not the tongue. Now dance for me. Okay, dance. The vessel is rude, but the wine within may yet be fine. Unfortunately, there is much call on my time, and I am bound for another land. I will make a dance with you when next I return to the city. There you are. Heard anything good? I hope you are not wasting time with that looker here. Yappers? Oh, oh, Master Gluno, I'm um, um, the Dan, D Dan Seuss, and I would speak with you. It is my greatest desire to become a dancer, Dexter, and perform at a grand ball. Please, my lord, won't you teach me? So, it is not the adventurer who wishes to tread the pocket, but this stammering maiden. Child, I sift people to find dancers, do you understand? Then let us see whether you can master these steps. Gulp. That's how they do it in high society, huh? I could be the last with class, just watch. Hideous. Grotesque. Your dancing stands alongside the calamity in its horror. Well, those words might cow your highborn ladies, Master Glenno, but where I come from, we take our lumps and keep, em, keep on twirling. Now what exactly didn't you like? Child, you rely over much on appearances. You go from pose to pose, pleasing to pleasing. That is not dance, but crude fascination. Adventurer, look sharp and take your turn on the floor. Me?
I... I can't take my eyes off you. I mean, you're not exa exactly good. You'd be picking rotten orange pits out of your eyebrows if you did that at the market, but... It's... it's a story, isn't it? A dance is a story, and I have nothing to say. Because I haven't lived, just made a living. I, child, ale glazed eyes are easy to please, and you have squandered these years striking your poses when you could have learned the craft. Still, you have courage. I'll warrant that. I weary of teaching so many who have, may have lived, but in ways too alike. I wonder if you have courage enough. Do you dare start anew, to be a dancing girl no longer, to learn a true craft? I... I... I dare I will learn the craft of adventuring. Do you adventure for fun or gain? Do you have to be very good with weapons? And uh, those moves you make with your arms, is that some fighty thing? I want what you've got, darling. The way to the Grand Ball is through quests and dungeons. I learn to slug, I learn to slug, and I learn to dance. Thank you, milady, thank you. I'm off to the Adventurers Guild. You taught me so much. And I'll never forget that dance you showed me. Okay. <laughs> Did she choose a mere adventure over me, master among masters? My airship departs this strange city soon. Dance your rude yet puissant dance adventurer. Mayhap you will affect more aspirants as you did Pomolmin. Ah, and mayhap I shall hang up my dancing shoes and start anew. Bye. You've learned the bo emote ball dance. Mug check. We mug checking. Uh, where am I going? Oh, now I'm going over there. Which is gonna be... I mean, I guess just this one. Hello. I have returned. And I see I'm at the end of the quest. Spoilers. Welcome back. You found you've each found an item, I trust. Yappers, I guess. Well now, what where have we here? A scam? You're right next to the lift? Oh. Shut up. A knight who set out to fight for the realm and gave his life for a stranger. Be it fact or fiction, it is a moving tale of valor and sacrifice. It be fiction. It reminds us that, uh, though many events may be beneath history's remembrance, they may have altered li the lives of those who lived them. Now then, what of you, young Nagi? And what might this be? It's a scrapbook of articles from the Raven. You see, my sister is a reporter for the tabloid. During the Calamity, she traveled the realm, interviewing adventurers about their journeys, and I loved nothing more than to hear her tales. They seemed like such a diverse crowd, adventurers. No two people were alike, and yet they were united in the free, unshackled lives they lived. It struck a chord with me, and in time I found myself admiring them. Looking back, it was my sister who instilled in me the desire to see the world, to become an adventurer. That's why I chose this scrapbook. I see. The footprints someone leaves on, the on their journey becomes become the starting point for another.
Yes, a verse comes to me, a blessing for those souls who are taking their first cherry steps into the unknown. Pray, lend me your ears. Starts playing Freebird. Whoa. Flashback. This is no flashback. Also, yes, even this eye thing headpiece is clipping through my hair. And yes, I hate it. <laughs> All these people. All the different races, and I haven't even seen some of them. I've never seen some of these people. <laughs> they, don't, they don't exist um, in, in ARR content. I like how I've, I've like, I think I've seen one um, aura. Uh... In, in like the gold saucer that I've, I've like registered. Otherwise, all the NPCs have been of the original, um, original people, races, things. Greetings, warrior of flight. Huh? This is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by your wearing mind? Perhaps. Or perhaps not. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Naoki Yoshida, and I have be beckoned you here that I might express my gratitude. First of all, I wish to thank you for continuing to grace us with your presence. You and your fellow adventurers are our inspiration, and this shall never change. The world, however, is an ever-changing place, mysterious in its elusiveness. Unexpected hardships may turn our lives upside down, and though we all desire peace deep in our hearts, the sparks of conflict never cease to be struck. Like an adventurous journey, the world is constantly moving towards the unknown, and it takes considerable courage to alter the course. Yet I ardently believe that it is a small but a significant step in our quest to create new adventurers. Indeed, another great change is about to visit the world, and it shall open the way to exciting new journeys. And tis our abiding hope that our journey together shall ever continue on to the distant horizon and beyond. Whoa, why did it all go green? Now the time has come for this vision to end. Time for your eyes to open from this waking dream. Is this how Yashida uh, dresses up normally? Standard office wear. Return to walking your path and know that you are in our hearts always. Till we next, till next we meet, I bid you safe travels. Bye. Yoshida and random people. <laughs> Can send you a picture of him just as such. Yes. Thank you for the generous reward and the uplifting verse. It gives me courage for the road ahead. I'm sorry, I've, I, uh, I kind of zoned out there. I did not hear your rendition of Freebird. Speaking of which, it's time I sat down on my own. Though it was brief, I enjoyed our time together. And I hope to see you again somewhere out there. Come what may, never forget to smile. Pass my regard to your sister. I look forward to hearing your tales. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, regards to your sister, sure. Yappers. Bye. Bye. 
Though much and more was lost in the calamity, intrepid souls continue to set forth, paving the way unto the future. In such a moment in history do we stand, and for you I would perform another song. Oh no. Am I gonna zone out again? Your life is a riddle to bear gladness and grief. Neath stars and true storms the answers to seek. Your footprints are threads to be gathered and woven. A song of dawn resplendent, resplendent dancing high to the heavens. From the embrace of the gods, though mankind has been torn, upon winds eternal lives and memories are born. The future is unwritten, bring it raptured or sorrow. Our journey shall continue unto tomorrow and tomorrow. I wonder how did you feel as you watched Nagi set off? Did the sight fill you with worry for a fledgling adventurer? Or did it wake and fun memories of your own humble beginnings? Now nah, I'm just glad to, to uh, get rid of them. Whichever it may be, I know that yours is a journey of more trying than most. There will be times when you are overcome by loneliness, and each step feels heavier than the last. In such a moment I bid you remember this. So long as you harbor love for this world, ever shall there be a place for you in it. Your adventures will never end. Nodders? Whoa! I don't know who Solus is. Spoilers. You've unlocked the Jigsaw Puzzle minigame. To play minigames, open the toy chest found in an in room. Whoa. My first minigame? The whole nine yelms. Obtaining data. Don't Google him. Oh yeah, I got that one as well. Ooh. In. Let me in. I always try that other door. It's never that other door. Why is it never that other door? In. Take me in. And, let's see. That's... Yep. I see. I see. I see. Uh, oh, oops. Again, it's uh, the, the, the frame rate is like so much better in here. So, so much better. It's like... So smooth. Toy chest. Huh? Wait. But I, I, I didn't have any of these others. Slide one plus Xiv. I mean I plus Xiv. Um, start. Wait. Oh. It showed me how to do it, I guess. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um... I don't... I don't like these games. 
Um, especially when it's this big. This is technically like the... I mean, the name, I guess, uh, also sort of references it. This is the, like, original OG minigame of Final Fantasy. As this is the, um... This is a minigame you can do in Final Fantasy 1. Oh, I can, I can just push them like this. Um... Yeah, like this. There we go. Top is done. That's in its right place. I guess I'll probably be in trouble with the bottom layer here, but let's see how it goes. They're all rising minigames, so let's just unlock them all. Oh. 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 Um... These need to be the other way around. Um, so... Like this. A nine. Ten. 11, 12. Yeah, these are not quite there, but almost. Uh, I just need... I basically just need 13 over here, but how am I going to do that without messing everything else up? Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a solution to this. Um... I mean, basically, I just need to push this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I just need to do this. And then, if I shift this backwards now, then it's salute. Then it's salt. Easy. Easy peasy. Quit game. Yes. Concentration. Oh no. Memory. No. Oh, it is. Okay, it is. It is. Uh huh. I played Mario 3. I can do this. I can do this easy. See? Ever seen anyone do it in 12 turns? Thought so. Cheap dungeon. <laughs> what is this? Oh! Oh! A dungeon crawler. How do, how, how do I... Do I... Oh. W... ASD. Whoa. Mug jam. I mean, that's, so that's... This is the stairs, but a key is required. Yeah, that's what I thought. Best time, 99.59. That's <laughs> uh, a bit of time. I, by the way, just, by the way, just going by the like mini map here. On the map instead of looking at the actual game thing. There we go. Found the key. Now 
Nope. Where are all the baddies? I need to be killing, like, skeletons and stuff in this kind of game. Is this some uh, Final Fantasy XIV song or, or what? Or is this like entirely original to this <laughs> mini game? <laughs> yes, okay, thought so. <laughs> uh, who knows, maybe they, they would have made like a <laughs> mini game song. I haven't heard this song. Also, how many floors are there? Key. Fourteen floors. It's gotta be 14 floors, isn't it? I'm not be disappointed if it isn't 14 floors. A theme from Heavensward? Spoilers? I'm hearing spoilers right now. It's definitely not the Heavensward song <laughs> oh then it's a very jammy ver version of this could it be this easy could it be this easy it was Um, yeah, because Heaven's Word is the theme, the vocal theme for Heaven's Word is Heaven's Word. Um, the one for, I don't know, is it Shadowbringers then? That has a dragon song. That that one's really good. Uh, at least in, in, in Distant Worlds. I like that one. Um... Ah, uh, this way. Dragon Song is from Heavensward. Thematically, it makes sense, but it, but but so 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 they have two, two. Because there's also a song just called Heavensward. Which, I mean, surely is from Heavensward. Where is this key? This, by the way, is... A pretty terrible minigame. Like, there is... is like, nothing to it, except just, like, running into random walls and trying to find your way to this key and this... these stairs. The others have been better. I mean, all of this is pretty, like, basic, of course, uh, in terms of games. But the others have at least been, like, you know, more interesting basic games. I'd rather be playing the sliding puzzle than this. Dungeon clear! 5 minutes 52 seconds! Ever seen anyone beat it <laughs> that much faster than 99 minutes and 59 seconds? Now I'm interested to see what happens if you if you play this for over, over 100 minutes. Shall we do that now? No. Um, all right. Well, the jigsaw puzzle then. Oh, it's the picture. 
that I was talking about. How convenient that I just now realized it. Uh, whoa, this one has some other stuff. Bonus chain, correctly placed pieces in succession. Special bonus island, place a piece that is not in contact with any other others. Does not apply to edge pieces. Bridge, place a piece that is in contact on opposing... Why am I trying to get a high score in a jigsaw puzzle? Auto place. View image. Edge pieces only. I don't need no. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yes, please show me them as like the right way around. Sure, that works for me. Uh, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Um, I'm just gonna, I, I don't care about your, your bonuses. I'm just gonna go for the edge piece strat. Classic edge piece strat. But yeah, the vocal themes for for uh, these online games have been good. For sure, always. Um, like, I, I really like um, Distant Worlds, which is the one from Final Fantasy XI. It's a really good one. Where's this one edge piece? Oh, here. Um, nope. Perhaps? Hmm. You can actually, well, not hear it, but there is a reference to to Distant Worlds um, in this game. If you go to the Weaver's Guild, there's one, one NPC in the Weaver's Guild who is singing it. There. Why am I doing this? We're supposed to be doing quests and I'm doing a jigsaw puzzle. What is going on? Is this here? No, thought so. Why am I doing this? for like people who have who have you know done everything in the game <laughs> and don't have anything better to do than do jigsaw puzzles in the home though I mean right now I guess there isn't anyone who doesn't have anything better to do in the game because everyone everybody's on their private islands Exploiting them for all of their resources. Uh, there. Hmm. 
bottom piece bottom piece bottom piece one more bottom piece um where is it right there top piece top piece one more one more where's the top piece over there No. Uh, uh, if I was this piece, where would I be? It's just thing to do if you want to. Not really if you don't have anything else. there I need a face none of these look like faces to me is that a face that is a face but that's a face for another place who needs a face That one goes somewhere over here, in the middle. Somewhere. No, wait, that goes over here. Uh, head. Hair. Island. Island. Huge points. Huge island points. Where's this piece? Oh, this one? No, no, that doesn't make what doesn't quite make sense. Oh, but well that works. But where's this face? Face piece. Is this your face? No. Is this your face? That's your face. There we go. Is this your face? That's your face. Somewhere over here. Oh, it's right here. So some fits. Anywhere? Hmm.
There we go. Still have no idea who these are. All I know is the are uh, my guild buddies here. There we go. New high score. Bye. <laughs> All right. Now do we finally uh, start on start on what we were supposed to start on millions of years ago? It's been 84 years. Came here to Wait, why am I going to the... I was gonna go talk to my... my, uh, retainers. So I left... the inn. Alright, you just do the same thing again. And a man of fireplace. You do the same thing as well. And uh, let's see, does this man of fireplace sell for anything? Put it for sale. Ninety-eight thousand. Somebody buys. It. Sure. Ninety-seven and ninety-nine. And nine. Haha. -ha. All right. In that case, I guess we can just teleport over to uh, Costa del Sol. Where that terrible tower no longer exists, I suppose. Yes, look at it. It has been destroyed. Alright, so we were sent here to talk to Gigaruji because of... I have no idea. According to Alphino, the antecedents' blind refusal to contemplate leaving Ulda seems for, stems from the empty hope that her late mother Fluman, Flamin still lives, for whatever reasons. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright. Oh, sweet siren of the sands, my Mikote muse, my why have you forsaken me? To die to Spain, I mean, Suze, well, what brings you to my humble resort? Flehamin? You mean to tell me the goddess made flesh who dwelt among us until so very recently was the songstress of Ulta? Igaz, woman. If I had known that, I would have chained her to my bedpost and never let her leave. Ah. Uh... Oh, for shame. To think that she now plies the trade to the riffraff off to the west or wherever said she said she was going. It's a tragedy, I say. A tragedy. West, West is it? Thank you, Master Gekoruju. Your information will serve us well. Hello, Alphanor. Didn't see you there. That said, there are um, any, any number of places she could be. I shall begin my search by the docks and see if any witnesses might have some knowledge to spare. I would be most appreciative if you could travel on to Wineport and do the same. All right. You are on top of it. Wine port. Well, if it isn't Suze, the savior of Wineport, to what do we owe the pleasure? 
Ah, yes, we did receive a customer matching that description. She was a delight to behold, to give the woman her due, but her perfume was so ghastly. I had no choice but to eject her from the premises. Interfering with tastings, you understand? If she is your quarry, why you not consult your blind associate? His olfactory perception is without peer. Given that I, I could smell that woman from a mile away, I dare say he could smell her from ten. Okay. But first I gotta talk to somebody else up here. Jungba. Eh? You want to know if I've seen a Mikote last by the name of Lhamin? I wish. I haven't seen a lass of any description for far too bloody long. Uh, expect, expect, accepting yourself, of course. Bye. Shamanalumani, hello. Sniff, sniff. I see you have had many great adventures since last we spoke today. You must share them with me sometime. The girl from a little while ago. One does not forget a perfume like that. So robust and intoxicating, yet simultaneously familiar. Reminiscent of a bloom native to these parts, in fact. I said as much as we, when we spoke. She complimented my powers of observation and asked me where she might find some of the flowers. So I told her to follow the road south into Raincatcher Gully and then head east after crossing the second bridge. The flowers which grow in the shade of the cliff have the strongest scent, you see. If you make haste, you may yet find her there. I shall make haste on my unicorn. Flying through the trees. Hello, Flamin. House of Presence. Hello, Gubu. No, I don't want Gubu fangs. I'm in your debt, stranger. I did not realize my activities had aroused the Gubu's ire until it was too late. Their oils can be used to make perfume, you see, and I... Yappers? Flhamin? I'm... I don't... Who are you? Whom do you serve? Flhamin was in the 1.0 intro scene where there was a Gubu attack in Limsa. I have not seen the Limsa one. It appears you've already found our woman. Consider uh, consider me impressed, my friend. Or was it or was it the same for everyone? The songstress of old, I presume. Mephilia, or should I say Cilia, is looking for you. Cilia? You are the very picture of health, milady, yet the world thinks you're dead. I can only conclude that this was by design. The question is why? Not everyone who endeavors to find me does so with the best intentions, child. You'll be pleased to know that I fully intend to reveal myself to Mephilia when the time is right. Oh, well, that does please me, uh, more than you know. But tell me, sojourns in the forest of Lanasea's side, when exactly will the time be right? I distracted with spelling Flamin correctly and forgot to say Ulda. <laughs> when I deem it so, do you imagine I traveled all this way on a whim? As I was telling your associate prior to your intrusion, I came here to harvest these flowers for use in a perfume. Does that satisfy your curiosity, or would you interrogate me further? My apologies for the interruption. Anyway, now that we all have uh, that which we came for, might we continue this conversation in a safer loca locale? Wine port, say? Why not just continue it right here?
we fly. Secrets. This this is not at all how I had envisioned it. I can scarce begin to imagine what emotions will go through Mephilia's heart when she reunites with her mother after all these years. Rings. Item level 70. Lol. Give me the bronze. <laughs> okay, well, give me the... <laughs> give me the thing then. All things in time. Flahamin... Spoilers. You say my daughter waits us in Vesper Bay, yes? I've kept her waiting long enough. Let us be off on the next ferry. I can finish fashioning the perfume along the way. Understood. Come with me. It would be my pleasure to escort you to the Waking Sands. Do we actually go to the Waking Sands now, or... Whoa! Hold on! Wait a second! What did the game just do? Whoa, 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 did it just take me here? First of all, wow, but also... <clears throat> like, now to... <laughs> like, this is nice if you are doing this, but it would not be nice if you were doing some other stuff there as <laughs> well. Like, if I was doing some quests in Wineport and suddenly it just, like, yeets me back here. Why am I even given the Vesper Bay tickets if I if I just get teleported over? Hello, Minfilia. Wait, wait. Why can I not jump on your table? This game sucks. Instant, you have a guest. Lahamin. Cilia. Why is Tataru still alive? I haven't seen her like this in years, you say. I never truly believed it when they told me you were dead. But what kept you away for so long? The Imperials came for me, as I always knew they would, and so I resolved to stay as far away from you as I could, lest their pursuit of me endangered you and, your, and our cause. I could think of no better way to grant you the freedom to continue your work. Our work. And continue it you did, achieving things I would not have imagined possible. I followed your every success and celebrated it in secret. I'm so proud of you, Asilia. I learn from the best. I have a gift for you. So such a perfume. You remembered. How could I ever forget? You wore it all the time. If ever I lost sight of you, I could find you again just by following my nose. I do not think it was made anymore. You must have gone to so much trouble. It was no trouble to me, my darling. I fear I can't say the same for Tsuze, however. I could not have made it without her. Thank you, Tsuze. Thank you both. Nodders? There's something else.
This... this is the cat's eye I found. All these years you kept it. My father was a member of the Al Alamegan resistance. When I was yet a child, he brought me here to Ulda. The accident which claimed his life happened shortly after our arrival. It was Lama Lahamin who took care of me then. She raised me as her own, taught me everything I needed to know to survive. Hmm, I am no stranger to the facts of your history, yet I fear I have failed to grasp their implications. It is clear that there is much I do not know about you and your mother both. One of her first lessons to me con concerned mining, and I was a very dedicated student. This cat's eye was the first stone I unearthed. It wasn't much, of course, but I was exceedingly proud of what... of... Uh, to have found it, nonetheless. So I gave it to Lahamin as a gift. She said it was beautiful, but there I am at loss. Why are you returning this to me? Is something amiss? No, Asilia, nothing is amiss. Quite the opposite. I need you to realize how far you've come, and how much f further you may still... must still go. You and your allies have accomplished more than I could ha ever have hoped. You have succeeded where I failed, and made me so proud that... that words fail me. But even as I marvel at the woman you've become, and at all the many things you've done, I cannot help but think of that which you have yet to do. And of what it may entail. Asilia, daughter, you cannot stay here anymore. You and the Scions must leave Ulda. Lahamin! You built it once, Asilia. You can build it again. And this time, we'll do it together. Truly? Nodders. Alphanod, the time has come for the Scions to leave Vesper Bay. We shall establish a new headquarters in Revenant's Toll, as you proposed. Much work lies ahead of us. Inform our fellow Scions and send word to the students of Baldesion. Preparations begin at once. So, what am I gonna do with... What? I already have that? Oh, no. <laughs> Please tell me this is skippable. <laughs> give me... Give me blue. Thank you. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Why, first of all, why do I have this cooking sherry? Yeet. Uh, hold on. Cooking sherry is... It's probably just a normal thing, right? <laughs> it wasn't... It wasn't particularly rare, I hope. Anyways, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a fairly normal uh, cooking item. Anyways, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, what am I going to do with, with these nine Vesper Bay Aetherite tickets? If I'm never going to come back here. It is all well and good that we have found ourselves a new home in Revenant's Toll. For there is so much to be done, and in so little time. Our first step will be to secure the cooperation of the, of, the, of the Adventurers Guild representatives there. Were it not for the Guild's considerable efforts, the original Camp Revenant's Toll would have never been established, much less it is its more heavily fortified successor. 
However, with construction still ongoing and resources in short supply, it seems certain that the guild will require something in return for their support, sympathetic to our cause though they may be. Whatever they ask, I shall not begrudge it. To be plain, we need them more than they need us. Without their assistance, such essential tasks as securing new facilities, cultivating relationships with local merchants and recruiting adventurers would prove difficult, if not impossible. You need not concern yourself with such matters, Antecendent. Really, Alfnod? If I need concern myself with anything, it is surely matters such as these. Indirectly, perhaps. I submit that you might instead concern yourself with a different matter, namely to whom the resolution of such matters might best be entrusted. And here I am, nor do I come alone. May I present the esteemed emissary of the Adventurers Guild at Revenant's Toll. Hello. It is an honor, Antecedent. Upon receiving word of your intentions from Master Alphanode, we thought it best to begin talks at the earliest available opportunity. Know that my associates at Revenant's Toll hold the science of the Seventh Dawn in the highest regard. We should be honored to welcome your organization. There are, of course, certain provisions which must must needs be negotiated. If it pleases you, I would do so. It does. Madame, unless I am much mistaken, you are the one known as Suze, are you not? May I say what a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance. Slafborn spoke of you in the gl most glowing terms. To steal an Imperial Reaper and then use it to infiltrate a Garlean Castrum is an undertaking few would contemplate, and fewer still survive. You shall always be welcome at Revan's Stall. We hope you will favor us with your presence again ere long. Not us? Well, well. It would seem your reputation precedes you, is eh? Mayhap I should dispatch you to Reven Revenant's Tor with all haste, as first intendant. But before that, I dare say you have earned yourself a rest. After all, you have travelled so far, and there is already so much you have done for us. And for me. Nodders. We will speak in Anon. Till then, take care. Like, right now? Why am I reading a book? Ah, Suze, were you able to get some rest? No. I would ask you to come with me to the solar. Alphanod has just returned, and it would seem there is something he would share with us. Nutters? You're here. Good. I come bearing news. The negotiations are concluded. And? And? Our friends at the Adventurers Guild have agreed to furnish uh, us with new facilities and materials, uh, su material support in exchange for assistance in the ongoing... Oops. Something at Riven's Toll. <laughs> the signs of the Seventh Dawn shall have a new home in Mordona, the Rising Stones. A bittersweet victory, if truth be told. I cannot deny that I had come to look forward to Tatara's tales of our many guests and their many, many demands. From the waking sands of the Rising Stones, passably poetic. That wasn't your doing, was it? I too have news to share. In, an, in expectation of this momentous day, I personally informed the Alliance leaders of our plans, and they have each pledged their full support, General Roban in, included. 
Moreover, I have decided that uh, time is right for us to cast off the vestiges of our order's veil of secrecy and announce ourselves to the world. Are you sure that is wise, Saint Descendant? If anything, it is a mere formality. Our existence is quite possibly the worst kept secret in Eosia. Let us affirm our identity, proclaim our achievements, that all may know what the science of the Seventh Dawn stand for. Well, obvious risk apart, it would be nice to receive a little more recognition. And the people have a right to know who saved them. It is my hope that this gesture will encourage the people of Eorzea to place their trust in us. I would reveal to them the true extent of our power, yes. Uh, but in so doing, I would show them that it is a power accountable to no one, and at once to all. And what of us? We who have failed primals and faced down the Empire. To you, my fellow Scions, I would say this. Prepare for the challenges which lie ahead, for they will be great indeed. Great, I say, yet no greater than us, and we will rise to them, as all as we have time and again, united as one. Hmm, there must be some way I can... Wait, that area is said to be rich in minerals. Maybe I should ask for Lahamin to teach me the basics of mining too. Tatari's gonna go evil. I'm calling it. Do you ever wonder how he does it? Alphanode, I mean. It was almost predictable that he should appear with an emissary of the Adventurers Guild mere moments after I had expressed the need to forge ties between our organizations. Truly, his sense of timing rivals even your own. Setting such mysteries aside for the present, I have a task for you. I would like you to deliver these documents to Slathborn. They concern our forthcoming move. Do take care on the road, and represent us well, Zuzé. The road? What road? Where I'm going, uh, we don't need no roads. Bye. I was still to expect a scion, but I didn't expect it to be you. It's been far too long, so then you have something for me, yes? Let's see now. Yes, everything appears to be in order. You'll be staying with us for a while, yes? Would that we had a dozen more like you. Since we don't, though, we'll just give you the work of a dozen men. Yeah, I just, I just. Do you, though? Do you? It's possibly a primal. Pirates? Slaphorn will show you around the Zion soon to be home in Revenant Storm. Okay. Back to the work of a dozen men, I see. Ha, ah, but I just... Even I can appreciate that an important woman as such as yourself has little time for menial tasks. But since you're here, here's a few menial tasks. Mayhaps you'd be keen on having a look around the Zion's new home. See that impressive structure over there? That's the place. It was, really, or it was originally built to house a branch of the guild, you see. As such, it comes complete with a tavern where adventurers can rest for the road, fill their bellies with good food and drink, and their ears with tales of fortunes to be had about the realm. It may be a get a bit ferocious ro at times, but I imagine it will be as good a place as any to recruit capable men and women to your cause. Come with me, I'll show you around. Philia? Tataru? What? Why can Tata T Who gave Tataru my number? Is that you to say? I'm quite sorry to interrupt, but I have most urgent news. We received grim tidings from Grudania, and it would appear our aid is required at hit once. I must ask you to report back to the Waking Sands with all due haste. <laughs> back? 
Is everything all, quite all right, friend? Yappers? I can't say I'm privy to the details, but it would appear this is no time for a leisurely tour. Uh, but no worries, you can rest assured that I'll see to all necessary arrangements. Pray return any time after you've seen to your more pressing matters. Nodders? Are we gonna go fight Ramu? Wait, 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 wait. I still have some Vespa Bay tickets. Since it was uh, Gridani and... And we haven't fought Ramu yet. Oh, Tataru. Hello. A messenger from the Twin Adder came to the Waking Sands while you were in Mordona. I wasn't privy to the conversation with the Ascendant, but I did see the look on her face after he took his leave. Something is definitely amiss. Could it be that the Ixal have summoned Garuda again? Or mayhap Imperial forces have been sighted within the Shroud? Well, whatever it may be, I'm absolutely, absolutely certain it's nothing you can't handle. Now go and ask the Ascendant if there's anything you can do. Oh yeah, in addition, I did not check if anyone had any new jobs. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Rianger's got some primal stuff. Primal Awakening. Rianger will speak with you regarding the, uh, the unidentified primal. Huh? Who? When the scenery moon did wane, there sounded a blood-curling roar. A new primal had roused. The portents gave us to believe. One whose identity yet lieth beyond our ken. Oh yeah. I mean... Isn't that just Bahamut? By thy hand, three primals have since, seen, since been vanquished. As each returned to the ether, it was observed that tremors foreshadowing this fourth grew in strength and frequency both. The being doth quicken, and in time it shall become a scourge upon the land. Yet even as we ponder the cause of action, a benevolent soul did arise. One who would forestall this threat, though she be tender in years, she is true of heart and steadfast of resolve. She would solicit thine aid, if thou art willing to proffer it, lest thou wonder this maiden is of our order. Thus the dear descendant straightway is consent that thou shouldst assist her who, howsoever thou mayst. As soon as thou art able, he thee to Wineport. What? I was just there. Where thy petitioner doth await thee even now. Thou shalt <coughs> for, a, for a certainty find her visage strikingly familiar. Ranger, you could just tell me. Primal nature. It is decided. The stance of the Scions must evolve from shifting sands to unyielding stone. My place, however, is here in this land of unending tragedy. Here must I remain until the true nature of the Primals is revealed unto me. Many seasons did I toil to fashion a net across this vast realm, a net that catcheth not fish but nuggets of wisdom more valuable than gold. Yet even possessed of this hoard of knowledge, I cannot purchase all the keys to the confounding doors that bar my passage. Thus must I presume to unsheath the blade or bone of light. Thine is a strength that shattereth the stoutest barriers, and doth pierce that which obfuscates the imp imp impotent gaze of ordinary men. We have not the luxury of time required for my measured scholarly pace. Yes. For the adder's nest is astir, hissing with the news of Garuda's return. Her winds have grown ever more violent, ever more destructive. What lieth behind this sudden waxing of power? The answer may well prove a vital piece of the puzzle for Primal's existence. Mine eyes perceive a looming wall of strife, poised to crash down upon our cities with unrestrained fury. 
For the nuns, you must pacify the Lady of Vortex. Again. <laughs> Swiftly now, to the Adder's Nest. High Serpent Commander Hello will have such details as thou needs to proceed. I shall await thee at the Waking Sands and pray for thy success. Nodders. Okay, I guess we go to Wineport first. I'll pay the price for the teleportations. Is there a statistic somewhere that shows you how much money you've you wasted on teleportation? I'll say. All of a sudden. Hello? You return? It's been a while, adventurer. Yes, indeed. As I recall, my brother Alphano took the liberty of introducing us when first and last we met. But for the sake of pro propriety, Alistair Levelo, I thank you for coming. I have heard much and more of your exploits. By your hand, the Black Wolf is slain and his ultimate weapon destroyed. You are possessed of great strength and courage. That much is plain. I shall have need of one such as you if I am to see my mission true to its conclusion. As you may be aware, the violence of Dalamud's fall changed not only the face of the realm, but also the base of the realm. Specifically, it played, ham played havoc with the etheric currents, creating vast confluences with ether below the surface. Among other phenomena, this led to the formation of subterranean caverns at key points of stress. One such cavern lies beneath Castrum Occidents and extends to only the gods know nowhere. Despite appearances, Castrum Occidents is as much a research facility as it is a fortress. Gaius von Versa chose the site for no other reason than to probe the caverns without interference. As you were about vanquishing the returned primals, I observed a repeating wave pattern in the ether, corresponding exactly to the dates on which you were reported to have felled Ifrit, Titan, and Garuda. Upon closer examination, it became clear that these unique waveforms emanated from deep beneath the aforementioned stronghold. Crucially, I recorded the same pattern during the recent celebrations, and have since been given the to understand that this phenomenon bears a disquieting similarity to one observed shortly prior to the calamity. Five years ago, my grandfather invoked the power of the Twelve that he might contain Bahamut. Alas, his efforts failed, and he va vanished, together with his foe. I would know the truth of what transpired that day, of grandfather's fate, and of the metamorphosis that swept across land. In casting light upon these mysteries, we will find a way to cure what ails the world. It is my belief that the answers I seek lie hid within the depths of the cavern. I would have you accompany me on an expedition to find them, Susie. No nodders? If truth be told, I am not one to rely upon others, and have thus far handled matters alone. Yet I am not blind to my limitations. Unescorted, I cannot hope to succeed in this endeavor. I swore that I would find a way to restore peace to Eorzea. If you desire the self same, then aid me, as you aided my brother and the Scions. Nodders? I am in your debt. You are a woman of action and a sense that we will accomplish much together. But let us not waste any more time. As I mentioned, Castrum Occident straddles the cavern I wish to explore. If I am to have a hope of reaching it, Alive, I will need you to infiltrate the stronghold first and locate the path into the depths. Once you have done so, pray report your success to Storm Private Jibroka. You may consider her my assistant here in Wineport. I have every faith that you will not fail me. Twelve speed your ways, Zane. Eh? Okay. Mystery individual. Well, it so happens that conveniently I can fly over the Imperial base, so there's no trouble getting over there. I have the magical power of flying. 
I guess I need to kill these vanguards. Unless... Interact. Fight your way through cast remarks. Yes, I fought my way through. Oh yeah, Boko is... Um, I maxed out Boko to rank 10. I, um, I looked up what was required for, for getting to rank 11. And it is an item um which i also looked up on the on the uh marketplace and it's being sold for a hundred thousand gil so i decided against uh buying it it was a little bit uh on the on the expensive side for for one I've been expecting you, Suzanne. By your coming, I take it you have successfully located the cavern entrance inside the Castrum Occidents. So that's where it's to be found. Marvelous. Oh, but allow me to properly introduce myself. Jabruka is my name, and it is my honor to serve Lady Alice. Though for reasons of convenience, at present I also serve the Maelstrom. This uniform accords me certain privileges, you see. In particular, ready access to the Maelstrom's regional scouting reports. They provide a wealth of lo local knowledge, including information on secret passages. Well, see, I am a Storm uh, Second Lieutenant, so uh, yeah, I can do that and more. Got him. But enough about me. I shall notify Lady Alice of your discovery, that she may prepare for the expedition. Though I don't doubt your abilities, none can say what dangers lurk beneath Castrum Occidents. For my lady's sake as well as for your own, please spare neither preparation nor caution. Pray choose your companions well. Companions? Whoa! Entrance? Right here? Binding Call of Bahamut, turn 1, turn 2, turn 3, turn 4, turn 5? Whoa! All the coils of Bahamuts. All the raids. Uh, they do only have a time limit of 90, so they don't seem to be too long. Right? Because, like, isn't the time limit on, like, uh... That's the time limit that is on, on these. Yeah, like, Amdapo Keep Hard has 90 minutes as well, for example. Wait, is that... Isn't that just... That's all. Yeah, all dungeons have 90 minutes, except for uh, the Praetorium has 120. Should we do some raids? I mean, they are just pe eight people, but still. Still. Average item level 70. Oh, also, these are not item level um, synced, so... So yeah, so yeah. Situated upon Vilbrand, Castrum Oxygen is more akin to a research facility than a fortress. Even before its first pillar was driven into the ground, Legatus Gaius von Pelsa had ordered his people to probe the fragment of Dalamud which fell at the precise location. Uh, the impact in the resulted in the creation of vast caverns pervaded, pervaded by corrupted crystals. The unknown dangers lie in wait within, you must brave them all if you are to learn the truth of the calamity. Not by queuing true duty finder, you won't. I won't what? What won't I true duty finder? Less than five minutes? It wasn't an instant queue. What is this? What? Uh, is that all? I guess that's all. That's it. Yeah, I guess the whole quest like just just ended. That's it. Out of the blue. I maybe I should go and do this actually while we are here. 
uh, get the blue mage uh, unlocked. It's nearby. Blue mage. Flap, flap, flap. But yeah, I mean, there is no, no... What I meant was that there's no quest that tells you, you know, do these raids. You got here just in time. It looks like he's about to make his pitch. Treasure. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. The name's Martin, and today I present to you the wonder of the new world. I call it Blue Magic. Blue. Beyond the Indigo Deep live the Walki, who have their own unique brand of spellcasting. Like black and white magic, it draws on ether from our surroundings, but that's where the similarities end, my friend. I'm sure you've all seen wild creatures lashing out f with fire, ice, and what have you. It's a form of self-defense, see? But it's still magic. The Walaki discovered how to harness ether in the same way, and wield the forces of nature. But how, I hear you cry. It's simple. You have to tune your mind to the instincts of the beast. When a creature is driven to attack, you can see into its soul. When you have come it in battle, you absorb some of its ether and make it your power your own. Cause it's not as easy as picking fights with the local wildlife, but my Wallachy mentors taught me well, and now it's my turn to teach you. Behold, the power of blue magic! Point of 12, did you see that? I thought you'd be impressed. Now, before anyone asks why it's called blue, Magic, let me tell you. For the Wallachy, this color holds special meaning. Sacred, even. And seeing as this ain't white or black magic, it seemed like the perfect fit. I suppose you're also wondering what you need to become a blue mage like me. Well, for starters, you'll be wanting one of these, a soul crystal. And don't forget a special, specially designed outfit to help you look the part. I'll even throw in one of these spell books, personally penned by yours truly, containing everything you need to know about learning blue magic. I've got enough for all of you, but you'd better snap them up before it's too late. Are you lot really a dance? Can't you see he's playing you for fools? Drive the beast to attack? More like run headlong into battle with only a silly blue costume for protection. Of course, no one can claim it's fraud when they're at the bottom of some creature's belly. We feast on your flesh smooth skins. Your gods cannot save you now. Where did you come from? What are you doing here? All of you, stay back. 
Rio09 is now hosting the stream. Rio, thank you for the host. Aqua Breath. Um, I'm glad that this, um, the raid hasn't started yet because this cutscene was longer than I expected. No more, please spare us. They never stood a chance. Bugger all his sword and shield nonsense. I'm giving blue magic a try. There's definitely something fishy going on here, and the arrival of those Mamuja was a little too timely for my liking. Come on, let's see where he goes next. <laughs> Someone's watching me, watching, watching, everyone's watching everyone. Hey, I've been waiting for seven minutes. Average wait time, five minutes. I know what average means, but I'm a healer. Let me in. It looks like he's heading for the Morabi Dry Docks. Follow me. Okay. Bye. Morabi Dry Docks, which are full of people. I um I teleported here for something and I was like I I, I saw this <laughs> I saw this uh, stack of people here That's uh it's quite a few uh Balden here told me that I can go and visit some people travel to an acquaintance's island and then spoiled that there's a quest called Endwalker in Endwalker. Well, I don't know if it's in Endwalker necessarily, um, but <laughs> I need to finish a quest called Endwalker to get my own island. According to one of the guards, this Martin character has been seen skulking around the docks over the last few days. Apparently he's been begging for leftovers from the mess hall. Considering that he's making Gil hand over fist from gullible adventurers, this strikes me as more than a little odd. Anyway, he was last part of making his way to the Star Soul Strand. Let's go. So you can. Interesting. Yeah, uh, there, there was like a little quest indicator there. Uh, and I was like, huh? Uh, and uh, yeah, they basically just told me that I can go and visit a friend's. Friends Island, I need to be on their homeworld um, to do it, and um, I can get my own island after Endwalker. Um, the quest Endwalker, which I'm guessing is the final quest of Endwalker, but it could also be the first quest of Endwalker, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. I like it for Star Fox, but the game Death feels like a Ubisoft game. <laughs> it looked, honestly, I thought it looked better than like No Man's Sky. <laughs> Even like the, like updated No Man's Sky. <laughs> That's not Star Fox. That's spooky game. Uh, where am I going? Hello? Do you like my flying style? It's a new, new technique I have developed. <laughs> Very difficult to get down. <laughs> Just as I suspected, he's up to no good. 
Why else would he come all the way to a place like this? Martin, you say you be less violent this time, but that was very violent, very violent indeed. It all adds to realism, and you lads did a great job. Your gods can't save you now. Nice improvisation. That one bloke damn near shat himself. I think we've seen enough. Let's go and kill them all. Hold it right there. I'm placing you under arrest on charges of fraud. Fraud? This is all a big misunderstanding. You can't pull the wool over my eyes. The game's up. And the same goes for you too. I knew you were in cahoots from the very beginning. As for those crystals, I'm about as convinced by them as I was by your acting. Say what you will about our sales technique, but there's nothing dodgy with the merchandise. I'll have you know, I poured my heart and soul into those crystals, and the spellbooks explain how to learn the magic. It ain't my fault if the buyers can't be asked to read them. And if you're thinking about clapping me in irons over the outfits not providing enough protection, I can assure you they were tailored especially with the needs of a blue maid in mind. I'll admit I had, a, I had to cut a few corners to keep the cost down, but still. It all boils down to whether the soul crystals are genuine or not. I know it's a lot to ask, but would you try this blue magic of his? <laughs> Why me? Come on, miss, don't be shy. Once you've learned your first spell, you'll know I ain't pulling your leg. I'll even let you borrow one of the outfits. Oh yes, very fetching. While you've been getting changed, Latulja and Gahilja have been luring over a nice cooperative baby kraken to teach you water cannon. The bait's been laid, so one should turn up any moment now. I haven't read my book. Run away! Run away! That's a bit on the big side, lads. Not to worry, all you have to do is give it a few licks uh, with the patented blue magic focus or stick, if you prefer, and our tentacled uh, friend will return the favor. We're firing possibly quite painful jets of water at you. Oh, and try not to die. Slap it. How many times do I need to get hit? Did I just beat it to death? Magic. Impressive! After that little esca escapade, you should be able to fire your very own water cannon. Uh, by the by, uh, you don't, strictly speaking, need to get, be struck by the magic you're trying to learn. But that will probably happen whether you want it on to or not, in some cases repeatedly. As long as you're the one uh, the beast is after, its power should be yours, assuming you can defeat it. You see, this is what most people don't realize about becoming a blue mage. When you start out, you're like a blank slate. 
It takes a fair amount of recklessness. I mean, bravery to stare these creatures down, look into their souls. Uh, it's a shame that uh, not all of my customers have your determination. That's hard grounds for calling me a fraud. You don't think he's telling the truth, do you? Now that's settled, I'll be having my wares back if you don't mind. I mind. What's that? You still don't believe me? To be honest, miss, I don't know what more I can do. Tell you what, why don't I give you a soul crystal? Outfit and spellbook for free. That way, as a fully-fledged blue mage, you can act as living proof of my innocence. Sounds fair to you? Quest complete! Blue mage unlocked. Over the blue magic spell, become the character in the main menu to sign active actions. Blue mage arms generally have no effect on your attributes, however, equipping armor and accessories that boost your intelligence will greatly increase the results of magic. If you lose your blue magic gear, the blessing can be purchased from the yeah, uh... Equip. Okay, I was, I was gonna ask how does this work when I when I need to have both the weapon and the and the crystal equipped, but I guess it just automatically equips it. Uh, blue magic. Rather than gaining new actions um, by increasing in level, blue mages learn them from enemies. To acquire an ability, uh, you must witness your foe perform a specific attack before defeating it. The actions you learn are recorded in the blue ma magic spellbook found on the character in the main menu. Spells must be registered as active actions and set to the hotbar before they can be used. You may register up to 24 spells at once. Checking the box next to a spell will add it to the list of active actions. From there, they can be set to a hotbar. The blue magic spellbook details the action, the attack type and aspect of each action. You can also view hints on where to acquire spells that you have yet to discover. In addition, if you use the duty finder to enter duties with level sync or item syncing enabled, the chance of acquiring spells from the corresponding enemies is significantly increased. Unlike most other weapons, blue mage arms generally have little effects on a character's attributes. However, the intelligence gained from armor and accessories provides a much larger increase in offensive magic damage compared to other jobs. Okay. Um... Give me some clothes, please. True blue. I mean, I, I guess I won't be equipping these, but... No, wait, I mean, I am level one. So, yeah, I don't have anything else for level one. Oh, the uh, cattle wrist gloves. <laughs> Apparently uh, are, are the way to go over here. Really? Really? Yeah, I, I guess they have a little bit better magic defense. <laughs> no, I gotta, I gotta go with the, with the real stuff. Um, yeah, I don't have any other level one stuff. Uh, why? No, 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 no! I was about to save over my white mage. Gear set list. New gear set. Blue. Pull that over there. I'm going to need to add another hot bar over here. On my job hot bar. Blue. I am blue. Also, I've been 20 minutes in the queue, and now the average wait time has been changed to 70 minutes. Lies. Lies. Blue leading the blue. 
Well, I suppose you'd better show this yellow jacket that getting smacked about by a mad kraken wasn't a waste of time, after all. Just take aim at Latulja and fire off a water cannon. If anyone knows how a proper blast feels, it's him. God knows he's been receiving you back and enough times. Is this only this is the only way? Please avoid maiming Latulja too severely. Severely. Over the blue magic spell book. Assign active actions. Oh, it is not active. Blue. Uh, action, action, active, done. Water cannon. Blue. Painful yet refreshing. Refreshing yet painful. See, I was telling the truth, wasn't I? Not as. Well then, we'd best get. We'd best be going. It's been a pleasure. Not so fast, you blue-haired twit. I'll admit the spell worked as you said it would, but you can't sell those soul crystals without adequately explaining the risks. It's irresponsible. Some might even call it deliberately neglectful. You're not under arrest, but from this day forth, you are strictly forbidden from peddling any more of your wares. If I hear you've sold so much as a blue handkerchief, I will hunt you down and throw you behind bars. Defeated. For your aid in the investigations, you have my thanks. Fare you well. Do you have a name? Zealous Yellow Jacket. I don't bloody believe it. Just as I was beginning to turn a half decent profit. Well, well, that was quite the show, darlings. Neither black nor white magic, but something new entirely. Blue magic. Yes, it's sure to draw a crowd, as you've at amply demonstrated. And who might you be? The name's Royce, and I manage the Celestium in Ulda. It's an arena where daring young souls such as yourselves perform feats of bravery for the audience. Unlike the Colosseum, the vast majority of the entertainment pits man against... Beast, with the matches being brought to an end before either side suffers any serious injury. While our patrons revel in the thrill of combat, acts of wanton brutality and bloodshed are considered distasteful. Rather than savagery and slaughter, our appeal lies in the personas that our participants assume to add a touch of drama to the proceedings. However, I'm not one to settle for a mere modicum of success. My goal is to make the Celestium renowned the world over, and to that end, I've been searching for something truly unique. And what is, w and that is when word of this blue ma magic of yours reached my ears. Martin, my blue bundle of crowd-pleasing wonderment. How would you like to be the very first contestant in the masked carnival? It will be an event pitting your magic against a host of beachal foes. Uh, listen, this is serious stuff. I didn't go through all the trouble of learning all these spells to entertain a bunch of gorping spectators. Paying spectators, my dear. Some of them are quite wealthy, in fact, and you stand to earn rather a lot of coin. Now you're talking my language. I say, darling, where are you going? I was about to make you the same offer. I hate to burst your bubble, love, but my uh, apprentice here has barely taken the first steps on the road to becoming a blue mage. We don't want her meeting a grisly end in the middle of your arena, would we? Once I learn, learn some more blue magic, I'll win for sure. Can I use something besides these four spells? I'll win. That's the spirit. I'm in no rush, so take as much time as you need with your preparations. Perhaps you could oversee her training between matches. Training? That weren't part of the deal. Well, I'm not asking you to do it for free, my dear. Quite the contrary. You pay me for that too? Consider it done. 
That's what I like to hear, Martin. Let's get you to Uldar for your costume fitting. Come along. Money. I have to wear a costume as well? I've got a bad feeling about this. Bye. We nyom over there. Yum. It's just occurred to me that I never asked whether you actually want to take part in the mass carnival. Are you willing to endure Martin's training regime in preparation for the greatest performance of your life? Do you want to become blue mage and enter the mass carnival? Sure. You made the right choice, my dear. I have high hopes for you. As for your illustrious mentor, I believe he should be ready to make his grand entrance any moment now. I'll be honest with you, it's a bit more extrava extravagant than what I'm used to. Color's not bad, I suppose. You look marvelous, my dear. Everyone, feast your eyes on the great Azuro. Ah, what's that supposed to mean? Well, nothing really, but it lends a certain degree of panache to your stage persona. No offense, Din darling, but the great Martin just doesn't have quite the same ring to it. You'll be playing the role of an enigmatic nobleman who has deigned to grace his last tomb with his outlandish magics. Oh, where are my manners? I never asked your name. Yappers? Suze. Hmm. We should come up with something a little more inspiring before you step into the arena. Ah yes, I have some information concerning you two gentlemen. As you may have heard, Uldar has a law that bans members of most beast tribes from entering the city. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it was mainly to keep out goblin merchants, you see. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have poured over, well, had someone else pour over the documents, and it seems there is no mention of the Mamul jar whatsoever, meaning you are free to stay as long as you please. Well, with that, I think my work here is done for the time being. Martin, I leave Suze in your presumably capable hands. Best of luck. Presumably capable. Ah, I'll admit, I didn't think this is how things would turn out, but what's life without a few surprises, eh? So it looks like I'll be guiding you on the path to becoming a blue mage. I get the impression you're no stranger to getting up close and personal with uh, fearsome beasties, but when it comes to mastering the Wallachie's techniques, you've got a long way to go. It's the creatures themselves who will be doing all the teaching, though, and the spellbook will point you in the right direction. Because I would be much of a mentor if I just said come back when you've got a few more spells on their belt. Seems like you need something specific to aim for. Tell you what, why don't you start by learning Blood Drain, and who knows, it might even come in handy. Oh, it nearly slipped my mind. There are few spells that you can only learn from creatures in the new world. Luckily for you, Gahelja has brought him with him a fine selection of totems infused with their ether. Save you the trip across the Indigo Deep. No getting your hands dirty fighting off fiends. Just absorb the ether, and the magic is yours. Naturally, we're not going to just give them to you, since you're still only a novice. We wouldn't want you biting off more than you can chew. When you think you're ready, talk to Gahilja. Gahilja, very impressed by Suze's bravery when Kraken appeared. Now Suze must impress with skill as Blue Mage, if you want these totems. You heard the man. There's a whole world of spells waiting for you, so go on and start learning. Okay.
Bye. Blue 10. Wow. Totem. Ganja is sorry, but she's not ready for totems. What? Okay. Cool. I guess I need to go become blue mage. 30 minutes. Starting to feel I'm not going to be getting into this raid. Uh, Greedania. I'm going to go ahead and take the take the airship over there. Wait, no. <laughs> Gold saucer. For a moment you thought we would get back to the main quest here, but... Then Gold Saucer happened. What's the time? Is there a... Is there a thing going on? There is a thing going on. Although, is this gonna... Override the... Yeah, that overrides the duty. Uh, I guess not, then. I'll play triple try it another time. Fine. Fine. Cacti pot. Am I piece decent? Nope. Hmm. Hey, ten thousand. Hack spot. Congratulations. Thank you. Eh, 252. Not too bad. I'm rich. I'm rich. Uh, something I haven't done this week also is the... I never remember where is... Where... Is it even? Is it event square? Is it wonder square? Wonder square? Um, uh, no. Event Square? Event Square? Hello? Hello? No? No? Wonder Square after all? Hmm. Hello? Ah, here it is. Must Rose. Uh, present for judging. I'm just here to pick up my... my participation money. It appears there are some adventurers who are as ex exacting on their retainer's fashion as they are on their own. I, for one, can appreciate the sentiment. I made my decision. Brace yourself. One hundred. What? Thirty-six? 
<laughs> oh, I guess because there's also a lot of empty, empty uh, slots here, but yeah. Ung, this is atrocious. I would sooner have a horn sting me in the eye than have to look at you. Seven Hells, do you even check the theme? Unless you abide by it, there is no point in any of this. I don't even know why I bother sometimes. Here is your prize for participating. <laughs> I hope this challenge has opened your mind to new possibilities in fashion. Ten thousand! So you're satisfied with your showing? If you feel that you can do better, I encourage you to try again. Nope. Bye. Um, I guess that's it for gold saucer. So then we go. Oh, but from gold saucer, it's going to be also expensive to teleport over. <clears throat> I'm going to run back to the thing. Oh, summoning bell. You want an easy 80 p points? Nah. Do the same. Same, same. Report. Chalean Philosopher's Gloves. Level 59. Um, excuse me. That is far beyond what I can do. You do the same thing. Although, I was gonna go and give this to the, uh, to the, to the people at, at, uh, the, at the Grand Company, but, see, watch this. Desynth. Ha ha ha! I have broken the game! I'm not supposed to have amphiter leather. Is that uh, do I make... What do I make with that? Hmm. Yes, level 59 stuff. Okay, so... <laughs> I won't be able to make anything out of it. I mean, technically, uh, I can make these, can't I? Uh, leather... Yes, I can make them. Technically speaking. But yeah. 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 But at least I got seven Earth Crystals out of that, so that was nice. Do you want to claim any prizes? Uh, I could buy some tarnished stuff, but do I want any of this? Tarnished armor. I'm not tarnished. Common. Hmm. Nope. Wasn't there something... Are you different? Oh, this is okay. These are completely different. I see. I see. I don't want to send your subattender stuff. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, the Emperor's new shield, I guess, could be actually pretty fun. To go into battle with no shield. Setzer's gear, bunny crown. Can a 
Can Vieira wear the bunny crown? So yeah, a lot of clothes. Um, glamouring stuff. Some minions. Some mounts. I can't afford the mounts. Sabaton de Emperador costs two million. Oh, I can buy new new hairs. Oh, uh, these are emotes. Bees knees. Gold dance. Narian dance. Big Grin. And these are hairs. But, um... I'd love to know what these are. Like, what do they look like? What is sheath and draw as emotes? I guess you'd have to Google them, really, to see. Music. Vamos a la flamenco. Cost 50k. Um, so the problem with these orchestrians is that you can't really, like... You can't really, like, play them anywhere except... Except at your jukebox. At your personal jukebox. I'd like to be able to just, like, play them whenever. Do you need to log back in to show you the emotes? No. Google has them all. See, we already have three people ready for the, for the raid. Where am I going? Gridania. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, talking about a primal. Um, possibly. Possibly talking about Ramu. Any Ramuas in here? I've come to s come to speak about Ramu. No wait, am I here to? No wait, this is about talking about. No wait, hold on. Wait, what? What? I just realized the main quest is about to speak of... Oh yeah, no, no, it was. Yeah, yeah. So the main quest is to go to Minfili. I should have gone there first. Ah, Suze of the Scions. Might I deduce from your stirred expression that you have heard the disturbing news? I, Garuda. Yeah, now we are talking about Garuda. Returns once more to plague our nightmares. I fear this incarnation of the Lady is more tempestuous than aught we have yet witnessed. If you are prepared to face this rolling, rolling storm, then I will be—I will brief you on what must be done. Win. High elixirs. I think I could trade high elixirs to the magic part, right? So I'll take those. Sure. Gale force warning. We first learned of Garuda's return when the Primal fell upon the Blue Badgers as they sought to construct a new Watchspire. The devastation was absolute. 
According to the report of one of the surviving engineers, Garuda invoked the most horrific gale with but a gesture of her talon, talent hand. The powerful winds tore apart the half-built tower, crushing the workers and scattering their broken bodies like dolls. By all accounts, it appears the Lady of the Vortex has grown stronger with this summoning. She must be stopped before the casualties are allowed to pile any higher. But as you might imagine, the Ixal, eager to please their bloodthirsty goddess, are engaging our troops in, on every front. I have not the soldiers to spare for a primal hunting expedition. Thus I sent word to the Scions to beg the aid of proven champions. You and your, cha your companions are our best hope for freeing Gridani of this ramp rampaging fiend. I ask that you confront Garuda in her customary domain, the Howling Eye. Such titanic conflict is best confined to Ixali lands, wouldn't you agree? Though I imagine the Birdmen have since made adjustments, there's Crystal. The Beastmen Ithrite found within Natalan remains sh the surest means of entering. May the Twelve strengthen your arms, is it? So are you telling me I need to go... back? To Natalan. Why? Why? I've already done this. Why? Why would you do this to me? This game. I mean, it's, uh, some of these situations, these things don't make too much sense in the way that they happen now, um, because they would have it, it would have been quite different at the time to do all of these things. So I get it. I get it. Hello. Hachi. Hello? What do you get? I get... this. We fight? I am ninja. Howling I extreme now accessible. Not before I've um, gone raiding. Uh, okay, we gotta go back and talk to Minfilia. Nyom. I was on the Koopo. But, but, yes. Ooh. New ring for the ninja. Oh yeah, I perfected perfected my ninja costume. Well, now I got this weird weird uh, chest piece here um, that kind of changed things around. But I added the the uh, summer bandana to this, which fits quite well. And I mean, this strange chest piece fits this pretty well as well. So it kind of works. Kind of works. I've come to kill Chaos. Enter the solar. What's different how it works now? Just, uh, just like generally. I knew this day would come, yet I prayed it would not come so soon. 
We have reason to believe that another primal, or an enti entity resembling one, has been summoned in Gridania. Thine arrival is customarily timely, Suzanne. The etheric waves leave little room to, for doubt. Thy talents will be needed ere long. If there be truth in my suspicions, it is a familiar foe we face, though one quite unlike the Lady of the Vortex. We dare not draw conclusions without evidence, but as Uringer says, the readings bear a strong resemblance to ones observed more than five years ago. Though I had hoped the Muggles guard beyond such follies. Muggles? It's not Ramu. It's Muggles. Suffice it to say, this disturbance warrants a full investigation. Thy presence hath been requested by Commander <laughs> Oh yes, to the Adder's Nest. Pray hasten to Gridania, Zizé. Ida and Papalima will rendezvous with you there. May you walk in the light of a crystal. Moogles? We're definitely going for Moogles. It's possibly a primal? No, it's possibly a Moogle. We go. We go. We fly. We, we, we teleport there right now. It's mug time. Any coupos in the chat? Hello, Koopo. A pleasure to see you as always, Suzanne. Thank you for answering my summons. Quite frankly, I could think of no one more qualified to... Ah, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Allow me to explain. Level 50 weapon coffer, item level 70. LOL. Buffalo Carp. Uh, put those in the chest. Um, we know what to do with this weapon coffer. I mean, I guess I'll just open it up as White Mage. Giant, uh, giant Skull Cane. Mm. Kind of lame. Hail to the King, Kupo! Kupo. Not long ago, the Mughal Kuplokop visited the Addis Nest to require an audience with the Elder Seeds here. He spoke of an imminent threat to Mughal kind, one which would imperil the entire Twelveswood if left unchecked. You proved an able ambassador to Sylphs, and we would have you reprise your role in our dealings with Mughals. The rest you should hear from Kuplokop himself. He awaits you with the Elder Seeds here at the Lotus Stand. Yes! Moogle quest. This is what it's all been built in, building up to. First, triple try it. Whoa! Sid versus Sid. Hmm... Can't defeat Minfilia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These are some pretty powerful cards right here. Guess I'm gonna have to be on the defensive. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just lost. Red wins. I'm gonna have to come back to this. There's actually some... Real, real heavy cards. Um, probably want to build an ascension deck that doesn't use scions or 
Eidolons, I suppose. The other silence have already arrived, madame. May I show you in? Everyone's here, including the Koopo. Please, you have to stop them, but you mustn't kill them. They're not bad, Moogles, Kapo. They're just misguided. A gentle, no firm trashing is in order. Yes, but no. Calm yourself, Kuplo Karp. Can you not see that she has the faintest idea what you're talking about? Quick, be quiet this instant. Pray forgive his witless outburst, sister. Most grateful am I that you have come, Suzanne, and upon such short notice. Truly, Gridania could not wish for a more stalwart ally. But you are doubtless eager to know wherefore we summoned you. Our friend Kuplokarp has brought to us news of a most unsettling development. It would seem that good King Mugglemarg the Twelfth has returned to Eorzea. A curious thing to hear, I know, truth to tell. I myself cannot say for sure if he is a genuine figure from history or some manifestation of Mughal mythology. Kuplo here would have me believe the former. Once upon a time we Mughals served, as, uh, served the gods in heavens. It was quite nice up there, unspeakably beautiful, unimaginably spacious, and with a literally endless supply of wine, Kuplo. In spite of this, or possibly because of the last part, the guards eventually became discontented and started squabbling, which made life jolly difficult for the poor Mughals. So good King Mugglemarg the Twelfth, may his glorious name live forever, decreed that the time had come to leave, Kupo. The realm of man would suffice, he said, so all the Mughals should live there instead. Unfortunately, the two realms are so far apart that we couldn't safely fly down, but Good King Magal Margaret XII, may his miraculous foresight ever be praised, he knew exactly what to do, Kupo. He had a rope, you see, the longest one ever woven. This, this he nobly held while his subjects climbed all the way down to the world below. And that is how we Mughals came to this land, Kupo. All of us, except Good King Magal Margaret XII, may his courageous sacrifice never be forgotten. He alone would remain in the heavens so that Mughal kind might at least know peace. Except that has not remained in the heavens, from what I understand. That being your reason for contacting us, yes? I'll bet he tied the rope to something. Good thinking. Remind me again what the problem was with him returning to Eosia? The problem, Mida, lies in the fact that he was summoned. It is our belief that good King Mugglemarg the Twelfth is a myth made manifest via means akin to those employed by the Beast Tribes in the summoning of their gods. Wait, you're saying a handful of Mughals with a boatload of crystals which really, really hard and he just sort of appeared? Would that even work? What I can't fathom is why they would even try. With Garuda humbled and the Ultima weapon destroyed, what new threat could have prompted them to take so drastic a measure. Might that not in itself be the answer? Twice in the last half decade, Eosia has been brought onto the very brink of destruction, only to be spared at the last by the heroics of a chosen few. To you who braved those tempests and survived by virtue of your own strength, this latest period of peace will doubtless seem a welcome respite. But to those who had not the power to defend themselves, who were spared only by another's grace, this is merely the calm before the storm. I think the Muggles God are afraid, afraid of what tomorrow will bring, and that thing may not end so well as they did yesterday. That fear has driven them to call upon a greater power, once they believe can be one they believe that can be relied upon to protect their loved ones and their homes come what may. I assure you, the Muggles God only want to protect the forest from outsiders. But ever since the return of good King Muggle Marg the Twelfth, 
May his boundless grace fill our hearts with love. They've started to get a little carried away, Kapo. Verging on a lot, in fact. Like the sylphs who summoned Ramu, you mean? Hmm, we cannot discount the possibility that this entity is influencing the Boogles in a matter similar to that of Primal. We share the same concern. Whoever or whatever the king may be, it is our belief that he poses a threat not only to Moogle kind, but the Gridani as a whole. Thus do we beseech you, Suze, confront good King Muggle Mug the Twelfth and drive him from our midst. Nadas? Mugdas? Humbly I do thank you. The sanctuary of the Muggles God and their liege lord is concealed by magical wards. Brother Esumi Yan of the Conjurer's Guild will doubtless be able to offer insight on how they might be dispelled. Pray seek his counsel ere you proceed any further. Healing Moogles. Oh yeah. Now you're talking. I will kill every Moogle. Hello. Welcome, Suze. Welcome. W that you should be the one to face good King Mogomog the Twelfth is of great comfort to me and to the Elementals both. As I am sure you know, the Mughals are not by their nature a warlike race. Yet should the king be suffered to remain, it is like that his influence will bring about a change in them. Thus does it behoove us to defeat him quickly, before any lasting damage is done. Make whatever preparations you deem necessary and inform me when you are ready to seek the king. I'm ready. The ward's barring access to the king's sanctuary can only be nullified through the use of enchanted keystones, the self-same method employed five years ago when first the king was summoned to Elsia. It was with great regret that we were forced to sanction the slaying of the guardians who then held the keystones, for none were in our position at the time. By the grace of the elementals, however, we have been spared that burden on this occasion. Kupla Karp confided in me that he had been entrusted with a set of keystones by the Muggles Guard themselves. Yet wishing not to betray their confidence, he begged me to find some other means to gain entry to the King's Sanctum. Alas, I have been unable to do so, and dare not labor any further longer, for fear that the Mughals might succumb to the corrupting influence of their liege lord. We must needs have Kupla Karp's keystones. To them, pray go to him and beg his assistance. He awaits you at West Shore Pier. Impress upon him our great need, and I'm certain he will yield. Alright. Kupla Karp, give us your stuff. Uh, Lance is killed? Yeah. Um, so I gotta say about the Moogle design in this game. Um, it's not the best uh, Moogle design of the series, for sure. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I would like it if they had, like, more of a nose. Like, their nose and ears, they sort of disappear into the... Into into it all, you know? Like, sure, it looks kind of natural-ish in, in, in terms of, like, how everything else looks, but... Should be more pronounced, I'd say. The nose needs to be ultra-red. So how will you... Do it, Kupo. 
Oh, he told you about that. Well, if there truly is no other way, I'll do it, Kupo. Take the ferry to Sweet Bloom Pier. I'll go on ahead. Here we go. Don't you dare lie to me, Kupo. I know what you're planning and I won't allow it. Open your eyes, Kupo. The king will never be satisfied, no matter how many crystals you bring him. We offered you a choice and this is how you repay us. By consorting with us this big corte. Imperials, Gredanian, Sylph, you're no different from the rest of them. Actually, you're worse, Kupo. Traitor to his kins, Muggles. He plots treason against the crown. Enough, Kuplok up. We'll answer for his crime soon enough, as will all who defy the will of good King Magalmag the Twelfth. May he reign forevermore, Kupo. The king is planning to purge the Twelve Sword of his enemies, Kupo. We've got to stop him before it's too late. The entrance to Thorn March is deep within the Bramble Patch, Kupo. If you take me there, I can nullify the ward. But be warned, the Muggles God has set traps to lure enchanted beasts. I can't hide from them, so you need to protect me, Kupo. Escort Kuplok up safely to the warded entrance. Should you fail to defend him or move too far away, he'll return to Sweet Bloom Pier, where you may rendezvous with him before trying again. Escorting mission? What is this? Keep going, Kupo. Oh wait, I gotta move? Oh, Kupo is actually following me. I see. Can I fly? And actually, probably not, because it did say if I, like, move too far away. Malevolent Fungus. Keep up, good look up. Malevolent squirrels. What did these squirrels ever do to anyone? Leave the Marg alone. Apparently I killed the wild bull. Oh, I think uh, Boko might have hit it, actually. And Boko just left me. Get back in here. Doesn't seem like I need to heal Kuplok up.
Guck mal. You've lost sight of Kupla Cop. Retrace your steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here, Kupo. I don't see any more beasts, do you? Nope. Are you ready to face the king, Kupo? Then step closer to the ward. Raise your hand and focus. Like when you're tuned to an etherite, Kupo. I'll open the way for you. Tuning. The rest is up to you, Kupo. Now go and teach those foolish Moogles a lesson and send the king back whence he came. Thorn Marsh hard, now accessible. Where's the regular one? <laughs> Why is it hard right away? Uh, Thorn Marsh hard. I guess I have to withdraw from this. 71 minutes. Oh, but we are actually real close to forming a party. We are real close. Tremulous Moogle is what Kuplo Carp is when not with you. Um, is there anything else to do then? Hmm. Um. Oh, actually, looking at the time, I need to be going, so I think we'll just leave it at this today, and we'll, I guess we'll go and kill Moogles next time. <laughs> So I think on Monday, um, we'll probably do a stream on Monday, I'm not sure, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we'll continue on from this and we'll we'll actually try to get <laughs> through the main quest a little bit more. Because <laughs> today uh, we got distracted by all manner of other things. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that and I'll, I'll probably try to do some of these raids here as uh, on, on the off stream um but yeah 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 i, I think we'll have to leave it th leave it at that today uh so next time we'll go and kill kill all the moogles um so tomorrow is gonna be um is gonna be uh dungeons and dragons uh the players have been trying to figure out uh, what what's happening with the uh, haunted mansion. They're trying to theorize who's behind it all. So uh, we'll see how they succeed because their theories. Well, they got some interesting theories. Uh, they got some very wrong ones um, among there for sure. Uh, but <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, uh, tomorrow is going to be d and and then on um, Monday or Tuesday we'll be back with this, so uh, I'll be posting the schedule tomorrow. Anyways, thanks everyone for joining in, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!